the United States is now proud to honor Tiger Woods, whose tenacity, willpower, and unyielding drive inspire us all. In golf, there has been no one bigger than Tiger Woods. Now, every one of you has good reason to be critical of me. I want to say to each of you, simply and directly, I am deeply sorry for my irresponsible and selfish behavior I engaged in. Through it all, including his 2010 press conference after a head-on collision, he admitted to being unfaithful. His squeaky clean image vanished overnight. He would make a comeback. Golf fans overjoyed at his return. The man practically carries the sport, and yet for all his brilliance in 2017... The ABC is from A to Z in a slow, non rhythmic manner, okay? My man. You may begin when you're ready. Mr. Woods, you don't have to walk anywhere. Go ahead and stand with your feet together and your arms down by your side. Oh. Are you okay? What's wrong? What, what, what are we doing? He would be arrested for DUI. NBC News reported he had five different drugs in his system. You can see the names on your screen now. Then, in February 2021, Tiger Woods was involved in a major accident this morning in L.A. County. The vehicle he was driving going off the highway and rolling over several times. These were the aerials today of that SUV off the highway, flipping and ending up on its side. Based on information gathered at the time of the crash, many feared Woods may lose his life to a car accident in Los Angeles. One doctor issued a statement in which he said Woods suffered significant orthopedic injuries to his right lower extremity and had emergency surgery for open fractures affecting both the upper and lower portion of the tibia and fibula bones. The doctor said Woods' leg was stabilized by inserting a rod into the tibia and additional injuries to the bones of his foot and ankle were repaired with screws and pins. To relieve pressure from swelling, doctors also removed the covering of muscles. He would tweet updates and soon play in tournaments. However, more controversy would surface involving the golf grade. Tiger Woods first started dating Erica Herman in 2017 when she was the manager at Tiger's Jupiter, Florida restaurant. Six years later, she's taking the 15-time major champion to court. According to NBC affiliate WPTV in West Palm Beach, a civil complaint filed on Monday in Martin County by... Erica Herman's attorney argued she should not be held to the NDA, believing it is invalid and unenforceable. Citing, among other reasons, federal law, specifically the Speak Out Act, which nullifies non-disclosure agreements in cases of sexual assault disputes and harassment disputes. Benjamin Hodas, pictured here, is a West Palm Beach attorney who claims in the court filing that a trust controlled by Woods is using the NDA that Herman signed in 2017 against her by commencing an arbitration against Herman based on it. Thus far... Two suits have been filed. The first, filed in October 2022, alleges a trust owned by Woods violated the Florida Residential Landlord Tenant Act by breaking the oral tenancy agreement. The filing states the actual damages are likely to be measured in excess of $30 million, though Woods is not named as a defendant in the October lawsuit. Herman filed a separate suit against Woods Trust back in October, asking for $30 million, claiming that Woods agents asked her to leave the home they were sharing together and then didn't let her return. TMZ reports after the breakup, she claimed Woods' camp convinced her to pack a suitcase last fall for a short vacation without Woods and drove her to the airport. Once they arrived at the airport, she was told she'd been locked out of the house and could not go back. Then in December... The trust filed a motion for the court to dismiss with prejudice in response to Herman's complaint, alleging that the dispute between the two began when Woods broke off his relationship with Herman in October and informed her that she was no longer welcome in his home. And that lawsuit uh, um, uh, basically was her saying, I want out from under the NDA. And she did mention this, this uh 
this clause in very recent federal uh, legislation that said um, that says that if there are allegations of sexual harassment or sexual assault, then you can't be bound to an NDA that forces you to to settle your your disputes confidentially. Gus Garcia Roberts, an investigative reporter with The Washington Post, spoke with CBS News. This just kind of provides a really extraordinary glimpse of, of you know, these agreements that powerful, uh, usually men, uh, powerful and wealthy men have that, that, that sort of govern, you know, their their personal life. Um, and and the reason why this act was, was passed, I think, was partly a response to the Me Too movement and to um, to people who who hid their behavior like Harvey Weinstein using mm. NDAs. What he's referring to is the ending forced arbitration of SA and Sexual Harassment Act of 2021 and the Federal Speak Out Act. The former bill coming into public law in March 2022 invalidates arbitration agreements that preclude a party from filing a lawsuit in court involving essay or sexual harassment at the election of the party alleging such conduct, according to Congress's website. The Speak Out Act became public law in December 2022 and prohibits the judicial enforceability of a non-disclosure clause or non-disparagement clause agreed to before a dispute arises involving essay or sexual harassment. The filing does not accuse Woods of either. In a civil cover sheet appended to the October suit, Herman's attorney indicated no when asked whether the case involves allegations of sexual abuse.